All right, with that, that round's over. What's next? Oh, Andrew and who's his teammate? We've got Murr and McBenedict. Oh, that's right, Murr and McBenedict. Versus Park and Kappas. Murr Benedict versus Spark and Kappas. That'll be a wild combo, because I've seen Murr and uh, Kaze team before, and that was yeah. vicious. It was vicious, I tell you. If I recall. If Murr and I ever team, I want our uh, team name to be Purr. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, more hours than that. You're going to need more than that. There you go. That's <laughs> about in. Enough is enough. <laughs> All right. So we're going to see the classic from Murray and Benedict more than likely. Mario and Ryu and Spark. I wonder if he's going to stay Mennonite or if he'll bother with the Roy. As expected. Ooh, Spark's going Bayonetta? Now that is unexpected coming from a top 20 character that goes 50-50 with Bayonetta, according to Spark, to using Bayonetta herself. I guess he saw Namwar's display of the last game and thought, wow, there's a lot of good team things you could perform with her. Why don't I just give this a shot? But this is now, uh, what were they at? Are they losers? This is the losers finals. All right. Sure. That's a best of five, baby. Cheeks and light liners are sitting in grand finals right now waiting for whoever wins this set. All righty. As expected, right? Yeah. Light and Cheeks, two phenomenal team players. Light's one of the best players in our area. And then, of course, Cheeks is a very good mm. doubles cloud. So it seems. Cheeks is like the doubles cloud when it comes to the local area. And Cloud being banned seriously destroyed his chances of uh, being a doubles champion. But luckily, Freaks has not given in and crumbled under that social status quo just yet. But here we are. Go into the match. This is like the best music for like <laughs> Losers Finals. <laughs> and welcome to Losers Finals. <laughs> Everybody to sit back, relax, and your stream at home. And I can't wait for Ultimate to have the most intense and actually hype soundtracks. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> the new music options. So I have had some decent tracks. Rocketeer, I've had enough of Animal Crossing soundtracks. Oh, I've, I'm so tired. I'm sick of the whistling. I'm sick of K.K. Slider. I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm sick of K.K. Slider. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard him enough. As Villager Main, I always have to have a love for my hometown, but I agree the music soundtrack. Absolutely. All right. Spark really proven his stuff with his Bayonetta. I was worried about his pick, but he already got a kill, but he also got killed. Hey, what's up? All right. And we're seeing a really good showing. And right now, it looks like Benedict is serving the role of stock tank. Yep. 109 is nothing to sneeze at for most characters, but Ryu can at least have a little cough at that. I don't know how McBandic's doing tonight. Woo! He's been flopping a lot of inputs, but he's also been playing pretty solidly. As usual, his neutral is always good. It all depends on his execution. Yes, exactly. Like I am, is always very solid in the double. I don't know how Murr is always so good. Like, his combos, even when they're bad, they're good. <laughs> Like, in comparison to his usual, you're like, well, that's a good Mario combo on any other person's standard. Oh, McBandit getting the Shoryuken, Spark already on his last stock. That is two stocks off Spark with Shoryuken alone. Scary stuff. But all right. Ooh, looks like Red Team is really starting to pull a lead here, but I think that if Murr loses his stock sometime soon, then the game will switch back into the tides of Green Team's favor very quickly. Ooh, all right. And Benedict really wants that show you can and again. Spark struggling to get back right now. Yeah. He's really struggling against, oh, another show you can flood, but I think Spark really needs to watch his landings. Why do you land in front of Ryu like that? The murder losing his stock. We're pretty even right now. Yeah, we are indeed. All right. All we need is a little stock off of either Spark or Benedict to see who's really going to take the lead here. Ooh, all right. Get him a back throw or a forward throw. Ooh, Ooh, Sparkle, Sparkle was going up smash. at Pokey up smash at 29%, but oh, the double, double Shoryuken, Shoryuken, baby! Alrighty then. No the Rising Dragon. <laughs> the Rising Dragon was especially hungry today. It needed two whole bodies to satiate that. Alright. Looks like Red Team's really going to close out this game unless Spark pulls out a miracle. Oh. Alright, that's quite the opposite of a the miracle. Miracle of death. <laughs> <laughs> she returns to her people. But all right, game one goes to Murr Benedict. Kevin Spark had a bit of a good game plan, but I think Spark was um, just dying to shore Yukin too much and landing in front of me, Benedict challenging him a little too much. But that really was the biggest flaw of the entire game. Mm -hmm. So if he fixes that, and here Spark we go. Spark going back to Meta Knight. I believe that's a good call. I'd say the same. Like, just because like, it's just not working. Yeah. I think um, Meta Knight might even be a better pick. Nah. 
not a better pick than Bayonetta in the matchup, but for Spark in particular, Meta Knight is a better pick. Yeah. If we're ignoring matchups. I feel like from his current performance, though, that his ability to carry up various characters and Ooh, shot. never mind. He's reconsidering. He's thinking of the matchup. Yeah. Bandana would be the wiser choice in this situation, I suppose. But we're going to see. As long as he doesn't get Shoryuken again, he'll prove his point. Here we go, 1-0, and in game two, Dreamland is the stage. All right, it looks like uh, is already starting to secure some serious combos on Spark. Just something I think that Spark should consider. Wait, Spark went back to Bayonetta? He did, yes. Okay. In the midst Forward of all of that, he favored the matchup over his experience. And I don't know if it's wise this idea, but I know that Bayonetta can turn around the game in an instant. But just So can Ryu! Really <laughs> I mean, can. We, we all could have expected that. At this Granted, point. yes. <laughs> but all right. Spark going for the conversion against Murr, but doesn't yeah, really get it. Honestly, I think that's the wisest choice. Like, Spark should just start going for Murr, right? If he's if he's losing this much to McBenedict, and that was the reason we lost the last round. It was a pretty close game otherwise. Mm -hmm. Ooh, all right. He wants that back air. Who goes for a witch Spark time? Spark is being very aggressive off stage so far. Yeah, as Bayonetta has the luxury to be. Mm -hmm. But burn enough of your resources out there being aggro, and you're going to wind up being dead, Bo. Ooh. Kappa's running back in, saving the spark from McBendix there. Woo! All right. Good forward smash from Kappa's to punish that Ryu. Okay, we're really sandwiching them in here. This is a meaty green sandwich. Ooh, I love the double forward tilt on the Mario there, the clank. That's the, not the most consummate statement of the Mario ditto. I don't know what is. But all right. Ooh, we're seeing uh, some attempted spikes, and that was very close yep. to contact. I was wondering what Murr was doing there, but Spark almost fell right into that foil. <gasps> wow, the weak hit of short you can almost oh, got him there, but, but Spark SD. Yeah, Spark SD. Oh, gracious. This bandit is really not working out for him. He has the right idea, but it's like the execution and falling into the prey hands of... Uh, oh, actually, looks like Murr actually fell into the praying hands of I me, mean, Benedict, this time. Giving Green Team a bit of a chance here. If they can kick out Ryu, this would be a doable game. I'm seeing a lot of collateral damage from each team right now. Indeed. So they're trying to find a way to get to each other. Yeah, Kappas really needs to focus on survival at this point. And I feel like Spark really needs to get away from Bendik. Seriously, though. <laughs> Every time he misses a witch time, I'm like, you're going to get sure you get out! Oh, oh, not again! <laughs> Even with a low ceiling, uh, Meta has survived at 60-something. That's surprising. She is a featherweight, lest we forget. That's like one of her only weaknesses is how early she dies. But go for a meaty hit and get witch time and you will forget all about it in no time. <laughs> but all right, green team's really starting to fall behind here. There are two full stocks behind, yep. but, but make that Kappa's one full stock off. behind. And if they can take out Murr, which Kappas is doing her oh, damnedest to do. But Spark falls victim to sure you can yet again. All Kappa's right. Now on her own. 2v1, and by that I mean one versus three stocks. This is not looking too pretty. Yeah. Looking a little homely, in fact. I really have no idea what I would do if I was Kappas in this scenario. I think Mario's got some serious options thanks to his um, mobility and combo tools, and his throw has a hitbox, so that's awesome. Yeah. But it's like three stocks is going to be so much work to fill, especially when you're fighting another good Mario. However, <laughs> Kappas right is not giving up by any means. Right now, Kappas probably wants to separate the two characters and try to avoid Ryu while putting down John Murr, most Yeah, likely. and or look for an early gimp kill on a Benedict. But sure, you can Oh, close tragic. It out. Well played, well played. But good effort on Kappas there. That was looking pretty doable for a moment. The Kappas had managed to build a little more damage. And than... this is a loser's final, so I believe it is best of five. It is indeed. They're still sitting. Nobody looks like they're ready to get up just yet. Murr <laughs> simulating the Mario spike in real life. Be one with your character. Look for that unity, that soul resonance between Murr and Murio. But all right, game three. If we could see a reverse 3-0, that would be remarkable, but right now it's looking to be in the ties of favor for Red Team. Yep, it is indeed. Now, Spark did make the transition to Meta Knight this time. As he should have last yes. game. I'm sure he realized his mistake. So I'm but very interested to see how he does with this character. I think this is going to be Green Team's game, if I'm being honest. 
I know Shoryuken's going to kill earlier on Town and City, but I do think that Spark has more than proven his um, proficiency with Meta Knight and doubles. However, uh, again, still, <laughs> that still really still. did. <laughs> okay, Spark. Spark. I think Spark just has a Ryu problem, honestly. <laughs> yeah, he's just not playing patient enough. He's running in, getting up tilted, basically letting Ryu do all the things Ryu likes to do. Yeah. And just not having a very good time. I think that I'm going to refer Spark over to Light the Lantern to start SDIing out of that ASAP every time he starts to get hit with it. Any up tilts? Because my Benedict actually, um, he has to do a lot of up tilts to feel comfortable enough to use that. And it looks like Green Team's already suffering a rather heavy deficit. And it only gets heavier and heavier. Yeah, Murder earning disadvantage into an advantage by getting up smash and taking um, Cassidy's stuff. Seriously, just doing up smash in the midst of it all. But all right, ooh, sure you can. Okay, you the last thing they want right now. right now. Yeah, with how much he's been hitting, sure you can. I can't blame him, especially in doubles when it's even less punishable than usual. But Spark secures one of the kills, and now he just needs to focus on the Benedict and get another kill. Spark having to be careful, get out of that dangerous possible spike. Situation. Ooh, and he gets another Getting kill with an up B. He says, sure, you gets real good and all, but uh, I have a really overpowered up B of my own. Thank you very much. I wouldn't say overpowered, actually. Everybody falls out of it way too much for it to be labeled that. Spark is looking very consistent with this so far, though. Yeah. That sure, you was tragic, as was that forward smash almost. But Spark will live. But he will indeed. He's a survivor. Wow. A dimensional cave came out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, all right. Can he get a ladder? Not quite. Murr escapes with a double jump. Looking for a safe recovery. Trying to shuttle with McBenedict, but not quite. At 56, working. I think it's a little early. <laughs> Even on Town and City. I agree. Ooh, he messes up the Shoryuken and winds up getting a Hadouken instead. Oh, Cap is getting the Ford Smash back on Murr. All right. Looks like Green Team's starting to pull a lead here. However, if they lose the stock here, that lead would be all but faded. And both of them are practically a kill percent right now, especially with Ryu starting to gain That range. landing on that platform to get his jump back was so ballsy on Sparks' part. That is plucky. Oh, but, but so is that up smash. Anyway. Alright, they're about even right now. We're going for the Shoryu, but missing. Cap is hanging in there. Given how Green Team has been coming back from that um, early deficit, I do still think this is going to be their game, if I'm being honest. I, I think they can clutch this out. This is a good counter pick for them, especially with Shuttle Loop and uh, Mario's up smash in play. However, they have the similar composition with Benedict's up B and Mario's up smash on the other side. Oh, so. but the back air from Spark will kill. Excellent. Benedict's he's going really, for oh, Shuttle Loop. And oh, he gets and it. And he gets it. So many up B's being landed this game, but it's a 2v1 situation. That was a lot of death right there. I love it. That's why I love doubles. It's never just one stock. I was wondering if Capus was going to go for the fair there, but not quite. Ooh, okay. Having a little lack of synergy here, I Bandic think. trying to put all the pressure on Capus right now, and yes, indeed. If anything, the Benedict wants to sure you can on Spark more than anything at this present moment. Uh, Ooh, he yes. goes for the forward smash, miss spaces are just barely out of range. If this was Brawl, that would have hit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if this was Brawl, this would be over. <laughs> this is Brawl. <laughs> Everyone would be playing Meta Knight. Ooh, good. I love that call on Capus' part. Just a straight flip jump right into that neutral air. Spark being playing a lot more patient now against McBandict. Playing yeah. a lot more safe. Excellent, right? When Spark's playing patiently, that's when he's at his most scary. He's his most oppressive that way. I think that's when Meta Knight is the most scary, in fact. When Meta Knight is like just waiting for you to approach, he's got the frame data, and if the character if the player has the reactions for it, then you really stand no chance of approaching him. Oh, and the back air. And Will another back air. That back air is game? way stronger than I thought. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I mean that time it just seemed like justice, right? Like we use at hundred, he's getting back aired kind of close to the edge of the stage, but with how much it's been killing up the side, I'm like, wow, that last hitbox is just monstrous. Monstrous, I tell you. But alright, we've got a game on the board for Capus and Spark. All we need now is two more, or one more, for Red Team. Hey, Benedict's been really, really good with those Shoryukens in this game, so all we need to do is worry about whether or not he's going to land them this round. We do indeed. I need a replacement first, if you can find one. I need one too, because I haven't even played around with them yet. Right. <laughs> Alright. I wonder what stage we're going to wind up going to. What would be Green Team's ban for Mario and Ryu if they don't ban Town and City? They like Town and City. I really City. don't know. Honestly, I don't know either. Maybe Dreamland? Maybe they ban Triplats because they lost there? Um, I could definitely see that, but with Meta Knight, maybe... Maybe they hey. would ban Final Destination? Alright, yeah. we're going to swap out yeah. mid-set here. Yeah. <laughs> One of your friends here talking about things about asking you to sign up for him or something. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Okay. 
I told him to text me. Uh, <laughs> it's fine, that's fine. You can also play your match. I think Sarah was looking for you. Sorry, I was trying to find somebody for you, but it may have to be one more match to commentate. Oh, that's fine. If that's okay. That's fine. Sweet. Okay, Omega back on mic. So this is what? Game... This is game um, four. Game four. All right, so we're in loser's finals in that case. Sweet. All right. So Sweet. right now, Mern McVandick um, taking the first two games, but Captain and Spark trying to make a comeback. All right. Yeah, again, Murr is super good in doubles, just in general. He can team with anybody. And honestly, McBendick is pretty good at doubles as well. Now, Spark was going being at it earlier, but he was constantly getting really? beat up in Toriyukin by McBendick. So he okay. went back to Meta Knight, which I believe was a very good choice, and they were able to pull off a game three victory. Okay, that's interesting, because I do know that Spark, Spark, does, ooh, Spark does have a Bayonetta, but yeah, I, I actually like seeing his Meta Knight. I just like seeing Meta Knight in general because we He's really, Meta Knight's really solid. yeah, we really only have Lion is our only Meta Knight here in DFW, and he doesn't play as much from what I understand. But yeah, taking it, FD percents and stocks pretty even. Ooh, good punish there, waiting for the tornado to end and punishing with a back air. But yeah, now Murr gonna die first. The first of many casualties, but everybody else sitting at death percent. Not gonna take too much to get rid of them. All right. Yeah, just it's really just one view, uh, two one v one situations that are happening, and Mario running up, up smashing, doing doing the Mario. Was Mark going for that shell loop on McDendick? Yeah. Not quite being able to hit that final hit. Yeah, it looked like he fell out of the second hit. Yeah, it, especially in situations like this and doubles, it's very like. It looks like madness, but oh, oh, oh no! That was unfortunate. Uh, was that? Hang on, I'm, I'm confused. Spark, Spark had consistently been getting kills with back air um, off off the stage against McBandic. McBandic um, wisely focused that time. I believe he clanged into his um, Man Knight side B, and he didn't quite clip the way. Yeah, I, yeah. It looked like it was. I don't know if it was like a wind box situation or what happened there, but it was. Strange. Yeah, that it looked like he was close enough to grab ledge too. So, regardless, that's gonna drop. Spark down to his last stock, oh, and oh, and he, he wasn't quite close enough, but and that oh, yeah, oh. Finish him off. yeah, I think McBenedict was hoping that he would just fall off the stage after being shield broken because he was really close to the ledge. But oh, this is not looking good. Yeah, they're gonna have to really figure out something here. They got to end the stock on Murr right now. Oh, and he tried, but now he's getting in the blender, the red team blender. Oh yeah, back air. Oh no. That, yeah, I think he was hoping that Capus was out of range for that. But yeah, that Shoryu not quite enough to take it. Oh, misses the sweet spot on that spike. Yeah, Spark is gonna have to be very, very patient. Yeah, I don't know what he can do here to 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 end this out or to close this out. Aside from just kind of be tricky, don't overcommit to anything. And honestly, like, Meta Knight, I mean, Meta Knight, oh, he tried to be, yeah, he tried to be tricky, <laughs> but unfortunately wasn't able to go high enough with the, yeah, yeah, good stuff. So that'll be Losers Finals. Uh, red team, Big Benedict and Murr. I think they got knocked into losers by by light, by light and, and uh, cheeks. Yeah. cheeks. Yeah, so they're gonna get the run back. I think they're both probably ready to go. Yeah, I know Light's probably got a second. 